Greetings, ladies and gentle players. It is another wonderful Friday in October of 2020. And that makes it another wonderful day for basics. I'm over here on the Foxies. And I'm going to be hopping on a one done account that I happen to have access to. Hence the bar I have now put in place. Just to represent that the name is not something you need to concern yourself about. i also gonna go ahead and get rid of that stupid Monday schedule over there. I really do wish I had a better system for putting notes on the right hand corner of my screen. One of the things that I'm getting off on a tangent here, one of the things that I've been meaning to do for a while now is have some kind of animation for that little note section to come on screen and some kind of better representation than the little bubble I kind of half-heartedly put together. I'm not a graphics designer that uh, also put there. I, and But I have no idea what I want to replace it with. And I can't just like go to an artist and say I need something different. Uh, creativity, man. I'll, I'll probably get it replaced eventually. I have absolutely no, no idea when because I don't know what to replace it with or how and all that good stuff. Wish I did. I wish I did. It's one thing that's been, always been annoying me. But alright, let's get a game. Do want to point out for those of you who are currently like also playing on Fox these days, um, there, there are a few things that you probably ought to be made aware of if you have not already been made aware of them. Uh, I'm not sure if you have or not. And that is, there are now two buttons over here. There is essentially the old button, which is to apply matchup. That is to challenge people and negotiate uh, your own time settings. And then there's the fast match button, which is ruled by your time settings over here. It's unfortunate, but 533 is now the law of the land on Fox. It's really, really difficult as you can see here from all of these um, challenges that just haven't gone anywhere to actually get one of the old school matches. So if you're wondering, if you were ever wondering what that was all about, that is, that is essentially what that's all about. Start to play. As seen the minute I hit the five minute button, I got a game instantly. So that's just the way that goes nowadays. Oh well. What can you do about it? I'm going to do double 4-4 points. reason why I'm playing a human and not a bot right now, by the way, is quite simple. It has been suggested to me that I don't just have all bots this month and I play some humans. This is a cute little thing that I kind of uh, view as a trick play. Um, He's going to play here. Or I'm going to play here, sorry. But... It's not really a good variation for him, because if I play, like, uh, I don't know, over in here, I could potentially kill that later on. So it's like, what the heck? But you can see that he's getting an extension over to here instead of here, which works better with this one when he backs off. So his idea is to try to take all of this for territory. So he's just being greedy. It's okay. Oh, and then he follows up greed with max greed. Lovely. Well, we'll attach. And I'm going to play the old school variation. Even if he plays a new, uh, I don't care. Right, so coming back to this position, I mentioned that the AI kind of has its own preferences. The AI, from what, I'm, um, from what I've seen, tends to recommend this one, which it's not simple or basic because your opponent can go ahead and split you here. Your opponent can try to go ahead and split you here, and then, like, you're left doing things, and it just kind of gets out of control. Like, right now, there's, like, four different groups. What's going on? I don't know. I'm just trying to play basics, man. I am not interested in any of this. So, a slightly less efficient variation, but still not terrible, is to go this one. Now, in the game, as you know, uh, my opponent played this one could have played this one, however, at which point you will take note that I might very well not get uh, the amazing full surround dealio thing 
that uh, we actually saw in the variation. But, you know, as far as I'm concerned, I mean, that's just okay. Because you are getting the influence. The corner has been surrounded, but admittedly, the AI being the AI, the AI be like, but wait a minute, he still gets his points in here. I mean, yeah, that's true. But you are still getting influence. In fact, you have, you have technically, you're gaining more influence now than you did previously. I mean, before there were some, like, still some questionable shape issue thingies there. And I mean, this is, this is pretty strong, so it's just whatever, right? And then later on, of course, you can still be like, hey, by the way, I'm going to go ahead and reduce that a little bit. And there's still potential to reduce over here, too. So it's, it's, it's fine. It's fine. And if black wants to go under later, that's Gote. The, the sheer act of playing that Hane is not even Sente because this shape is, the shape is okay. It can go, it can go off and do whatever, or it can, you know, just go and get more of a wall for itself. It, it can do, it can do a lot of things. It's flexible. It's like that. So yeah, doesn't have to be this way. But this way is pretty solid, it's straightforward, it's the most common one that you're probably going to see ever in regards for this. And no matter which variation you pick, I I'm still viewing L3 as just not a very good move, a mistake, shouldn't really play it. You're just probably going to get surrounded, you're giving a bunch of influence to your opponent, and as you all know by now, influence and amateurs don't go well together. True story. True story. Nope, he doesn't play a new. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut. And this mistake from him just invalidated all of this. Um, do I wanna play here or here? 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 I could play here. Clamp works, so. Eh, yeah, sure. I'm making better shape over here. I can never decide how I want to uh, make that shape, you know? All right, so if I, I could approach again, but the danger there is he'll play a mistake again, and I'll get this variation here, and it's just gonna be sad. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this one instead. Nice little enclosure. He should enclose now, but that's an enclosure with a super wide uh, extension, and that's just weird, you know? Yeah, he really wants this one. So he can do like this into this or something. That's so weird. If I play here, however, I can just take a large thing. Or I can play over here. I don't know. I don't know. Which one do I want to do? I could play here. He'll go here. It's far enough away from this that I can ignore it. And then play like... Play the 3-3. Three, three. That's what I'm thinking about doing. All right, so be it. Okay, new plan. Hit him where it hurts. <laughs> I like that plan. <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm in a bit of a good mood right now because I am not reading the terrible series I have been reading for the past five days or so. <laughs> and that brings a smile to my face. It's really bad. Um, yeah, I don't see a reason to defend this. Do I do it for basic purposes, though? No, I don't think I do. I don't want to just give him this. Like, the th I've got a 3 3 him. This is not an enclosure. But he could make it into, like, a really large thing. Double hot me, please. Double again. Oh darn it. Sentai. Sweet. And then from here, we're just going to... Uh, tell you what, I'll... Maybe defend? Defend my, my top side? Alright, so I kind of regret not uh, calling him out on this particular move. Because there is, it, it's incredibly greedy. What you're usually supposed to do when you have this one is you go here, 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 bish, bash, bosh, Bob's your uncle. 
but he, uh, he went with the most greedy. Of it. I mean, it's not surprising that he went with the greedy option. We know he's a greedy player. We know it because he kicked me here and then pincered me because he doesn't want me developing anything, apparently. We know because he's making these super duper night thingies of craziness. We know it because he's got this weird variation here that he keeps trying to pull to get like these super large bases. And we know it because he has three space extensions just kind of uh, hanging around. So in hindsight, of course, he's going to play the diagonal because it's like a it's almost like a bot running greedy software. Right. There, there's obviously a line of code here that allows him to that wants him to be greedy. So, of course, he's going to execute that particular command and go on with the greed. Is that a good analogy? Maybe. I don't know. Who cares? Um, either way, I could, in answer to this, do a whole bunch of different things. The straightforward one is here, here. And then I cut, at which point I play, he plays here. Why would you want to do this? You're dead, you say. See, look at that. I'm dead. Oh my. It's sad. It's sad. But we get to play here. And here. And here. Now I can force him. I wouldn't play this next one. This is a co-threat. I can force him to just take two, four, six, eight points here. Maybe take this one later on. So yeah, he gets eight points here. But in exchange, I've secured my corner against a bad endgame, right? That's all gone. Can't uh, Hana here and do tricksy things anymore because he lost that opportunity. And I mean, I could do hello. And I can keep building up here. I could use this to go into here now that I've gotten more strength. Um, like I, I can just... Rev just save that stone and do something over in here. There's like tons of stuff that I can do because he did that. That's option one. That's what I probably should have done in the actual game because it looks pretty straightforward and simple. There are other options that you could do. Like he plays greedy, you play here. Because if he tries to kill that stone, he just died. Right? The two stones are dead. This variation don't work no more, does it? Afraid not. Afraid not. Instead, that's dead. I have a larger corner. There's a cut point there. Ooh, so sexy. So sexy. So yeah, it, it's really greedy. It, it gives you opportunities to do other things. I chose not to do any of them and just give it to him in the interest of basics. But again, in hindsight, I, I, yeah, I, I should have. Yeah, 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 yeah. What did you just do? You know what? I'm not. I'm not gonna worry about it. I can probably do this one though. I don't. I'm not here into complication. I don't care. I, I don't care enough. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and play here. Whatever. Kilt stone. It's fine. Yep. Sweet. Um. Like this is the only move I can possibly think of right now because he did a three space that goes nowhere. So let's go and jump in. You never do this. If his intention is to let me capture this, that is very bad for him. Let's see if it's his intention. It looks like it is. Yep, don't do this. This is bad. I can cut here right now, and that's Ko. Um, I can also keep that low. It's a free move. Why not? I'm probably not going to go for this. But if I play here and he like connects, I can play here and try to kill this. Um, I could play here. I could also just go for center stuff. I mean, why not, right? Now starts. Yeah, sure. Why not? I'll go ahead and shoulder hit this. It's on the edge of a sector line and it builds and it works with this. So it's just, it's just, it's just okay. Um, I'm tempted to poke at this line. I won't, though. Don't extend. If you have I'm cutting him. I'm trying to be very, very nice about this. Just nice, simple, 
Easy moves. Hanen, you're getting cut. Warned you. I can cut because I already have an extension with this. This into this is nothing, right? Because I'm defended. You can go here into here, but then what? Then what? Oh, one, two, three, four. And he gets one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I'm fine with that. Sure. Oh, he thinks he can kill me. Does he really? He really does. Well, he can't, so... That's the thing. Don't think reading. If he takes me to here, I can go underneath this way or connect up. Right? So, I can go, like, here, and then threaten to connect up, and then I'm safe. Safe. See? Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Once you can see that you've got me for connection, you're perfectly fine. You know? Perfectly fine. Now he should probably play something over in here to prevent me from playing a move. I haven't really had to use my tool the, uh, today, but like I can play something over in here to get him to fall back to this line. And that would be very, very sad at that point. Now, since we pushed three and not two, this isn't Sente, so I can play here. Um, I can play this one, sure. And now I can do that again. Like so. And then just prevent him from connecting, I guess. Something like this one. Uh-huh. This isn't enough room to live. This is like a four square thingy, you know? I'll go ahead and play over here too, just to make sure, just to drive the point home, as it were. Might like revolve his eyes. I don't see a reason not to. Surprise effect he played that. Hmm, kind of weird. But yeah, that's totally dead. Um. This is not an Atari, so I can Hane. If he Hane's back, I can do whatever. He can play this move, and I can ignore him. He can take, and I can be a boop. He'll pro oh, okay, yeah, sure. That's fine, too. That's fine, too. Uh-huh. See? Can go and play there. Can't push out anymore. You can like Atari here and Atari here, but this looks like it's a disconnected in Gote, so it's irrelevant. Uh-huh. Atari? Yep. I can play here. So he has to disconnect me here in Sentai. Right, right, right. So I'm going to play uh, here. If he plays here, I'll Atari. If he plays here, I'll respond. If he cuts me, I'll Atari. Or even if I didn't, if he plays here and then here, and that was not defended, I could still be like, dude, or, you know, whatever. But the effect of the matter is, it is not important. Uh, there are cutting points like galore here, so let's just be like, uh, which one to defend? Uh, hmm. I guess this one, right? This is where all the cutting action's happening. But maybe this one was better because that's a thing over, th I don't know. I couldn't tell you. I'm defended is all I know. So this was weird. This was weird. This was a game where you saw that he was threatening to go for uh, more than me. And then he said, you can't have any of that either. That is the definition of the overplay, if you know what I mean. That said, I don't think he could have held this. But yeah, very, very straightforward. This is not Sentai. So as previously warned about, I can come on in. I mentioned how he really needed to uh, get something on over there, and I meant it. 
Yoyomi now starts. He's in the Yoyomis. These games, unfortunately, are faster because they are um, five-minute games. That's a little irritating. I prefer 10-minute games, but, you know, what are you going to do? I do a shape issue here. So I have to be a little careful, but I do have shape. If I play here, he'll Atari and extend up, but it doesn't really go anywhere. So it's not really a problem as far as I can tell, right? Like, like where's the threat? I don't, I don't really see one, you know? He might be able to play here and take these two stones. That's okay. I'm always willing to give up a little bit. That's, that's hard to actually like implement in your play, being willing to give up things or something Nine. else. Because you get Seven. in the habit of doing that, Six. and then it's just too much. You can honey underneath me. Honey here. I play here. Um, he plays here first. I can drop down. I don't know. So he plays down. This is fine. So I'm just going to go ahead and defend, I suppose. Yeah, seems fine. Because make no mistake, I'm still being surrounded. Therefore, I'm still under attack. Therefore, I'm not playing away. Evaluate the last move. Is it severe against your group? No, it's I'm I'm fine. I have an eye here. This is dead. I'm out. I mean, I'm fine. Nine. So this move eight, has no bearing on this. Seven, so why would I ever respond to six. it? See, he gives away his hand. He's still trying to kill me. He's still trying to kill me. I'm going to extend. It's threatening this for an eye. Threatening the Hane. I'm going to drop straight down because of what I mentioned earlier. Mm -hmm. um, I can play here. Yeah, I have an eye here. And I have an eye here right now. Thanks for the game, sir. All right. So that was pretty cool. Like, this one was very straightforward. I could ignore this or not. It's like, okay, whatever. Um, <laughs> this is just pretty straightforward. He should play here into here. And then later on, I'll see if I can't live back in there. Again, straightforward that he played this way. Uh, this I showed in variation. Got the enclose. I was kind of hoping he would go ahead and do this just to get rid of the game completely. Like if he only has that and I'm getting things like this. Probably not that one. It's a little bit too far. Uh, that's a bit better. I know there's this, but who cares? Then he's down by... A healthy, I mean, it's more than 10 points. It says only 10 points. But it, it's worth more because he owes me moves here. And there's things over here too that, he can, that I can do. Yeah, and from here, once we got to this position, uh, it's tough, you know? Uh, normally, I was going to go ahead and cap this, something like that. But I really wanted to actively make use of my influence that... Uh, would be pretty nice. Or just going into this one directly. Because from here, we can do things like this one. And really continue to uh, build up. Because like right now, we're about 30 ahead at this point. And if we, have the, if we have more to get in the middle than he does, then that lead will continue to increase. This was okay. I thought that he would just go ahead and play here now. And I'd play here. And then he'd come in from there. And I'd talk about... Well, okay, we're going to do this one now, and then go back and hold what we can, and, you know, it's, it's a game. He decided not to do that, though, so I cut him. I think he really should have continued this one more. Like, play here, and then we'll play here, here, into here. That's not a bad... I mean, it's, it's still 30 points. Like, no matter how he plays it, it looks like he's going to be 30 points down, unfortunately. Yeah, there's just I don't really see a way around it. And then this was this was just silly. There's no reason to play here. Like if I play here and he plays here, 
this is not even two eyes yet. I can go ahead and play here. He can play here, here, and to here, and it's still dead. So, yeah, this kind of thing was just useless. <laughs> but yeah, really straightforward. Not a lot, not a lot of variations to look at. Uh, everything I think just mostly just made sense. I didn't do anything overly complicated. So yeah. Uh, if, you, if you feel that's wrong, that there were things that I should have gone over that I didn't talk about, do let me know. We don't care about the right-hand side. There's variations there, but I'm not interested. The more important thing there was always to actually keep him low. That's what I should have always been... Hello. I should have always been after. I don't know why I even thought about invading there. Just do this kind of thing. Hello. Just do this kind of thing. And then just keep fit up in the middle because I got a little bit of influence here, a little bit of influence here, ways to keep this low, ways to keep this low, ways to, you know, cap this and keep growing. So I should be way itched more to the middle than anything else. So that was just horribly stupid to begin with. Uh, but yeah, overall, pretty straightforward game. And more importantly, now I have access to two Dons on this account as well. So that's cool. We will have to see how they do. And as always, I will see you all next time. Take care, buddy.